Good afternoon. Welcome to Tuesday, my friend. I don't know about you guys, but it there's something in the air today. It feels like spring. I feel like I am coming out of hibernation mode <laughs> and spring is in the air and I am fired up. So I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about some doable or super doable like two-step solution to for anybody that says that they don't have time to work out. And um, we've all got busy schedules, so I totally understand that. Um, so with spring being in the air, now is like now is like one of those times of year. I almost always or always, not almost always, but always get a rush of clients that come in in spring because we all start thinking about summer, the temperatures are getting warmer, which um, that might, you know, have you have you thinking about less less clothes and less layers and um, pulling out your pulling out your summer summer clothes, and that can instill a little bit of panic in us, right? Like swimsuits are coming! Oh my gosh! <laughs> All right, so let me pause for a second in case you are new here. Welcome, my friend. I am Katie Hunt. I'm an ACSM personal trainer. I'm all about doable habits like we're talking about today. Um, I help high achievers, so busy people like yourself, master consistency. Now, consistency might seem like kind of a boring word, like who runs around saying that they want to master consistency, but I am sure that you know, just like I do, that habits are what create the muscles and that self-loving mindset that we're all we're all searching for so that we can lead a more adventurous, more fulfilling, more satisfying life, right? So heart, if you throw some hearts down, if you are here for that, you are here for the more adventurous, adventurous life. Um, okay, so with spring, again, comes this like renewed energy towards our health, which I am living for right now. Um, throw a like down if you are feeling that um, like resurgence of spring energy. And if you're not feeling it yet, you will, you will. Um, and again, if that hint of, you know, warmth in the air or extra amount of sunshine has got you in a little bit of a panic because the layers are coming off. First of all, I just want you to know that you you are beautiful exactly how you are right now today in the skin that you are in don't let anybody trick you into telling the you telling you that you don't have a bikini body already because you do um this is that that joke that i've seen thrown around a lot but what do you have to do to get a bikini body put a bikini on <laughs> But it's also perfectly a self-loving behavior to want to improve things. So we can love ourselves where we're at and also be striving for something a little bit different. So if that's you and you are looking for a, a solution to not having time to work out, and this is what we're, ta we're, what we're talking about today. Um, so I wanted to also assure you that if you are feeling like, oh my gosh, I don't have time for any of this at all. Um, I don't have time to work out and that is stressing you out. I just want to remind you that whatever the next step is that you take in that direction of working out, however small it is, it is significant, it is important, and it does not have to be a big one. None of us get to a million dollars without having a penny, right? So when you think about what you're going to do next, um, it can be really easy to get lost in these big programs and big goals and I need to do X, Y, and Z for an hour, but just know that that penny deposit in your your health bank account is going to make a difference. So let's talk about how to do that. Okay, step one. There's only two steps, so we got this. Um, Step one, so first of all, I finished reading uh, a little bit ago a book called Atomic Habits, which I am now re-listening to the Audible version. I think I'll probably do this every year because this book is phenomenal. And it's all about creating, how to create good habits in your life and also how to, how to eliminate bad habits. So, but for today, we're going to talk about building good habits. So with personal development books, it's really easy to read them and be inspired, right? But we want to take action. So this is your call to action. You don't even have to read the book. I will read the books for you, my friend. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do to take action 
and to come up with, with your personalized doable solution is I want you to make a list. Get out a sheet of paper or get out, you know, the notes on your phone, whatever it takes for you, whatever's the easiest, and make a quick list of habits that you already have. So what are things that you are doing naturally every single day? So uh, for me, it would be drinking a glass of water in the morning, making coffee, brushing my teeth, taking a shower, not always washing my hair, but I do take showers every day. <laughs> Um, driving to work, changing into your comfy clothes after work, walking the dog, eating lunch, eating dinner, um, maybe watching Netflix as part of your daily routine and so on. So you're going to make a quick list of things that you are doing pretty much every day, things that you're already doing. Okay. And then, um, Step number two is we are gonna stack a habit on top of a habit that you already have. Oh my gosh, I love this. So let me tell you a quick story. So I did this with, while I was reading the book, I did this with meditation because I had kind of gotten off of my groove of meditation and I know, oh my gosh, 100% hands down, you guys. So who here meditates regularly? Give me some, throw up some love or write, to, write I'm in um, for meditation or I meditate regularly in the comments. I would love to see who's doing that. But I know for me, when I am in a regular practice of meditating, it sets my whole day, my whole life really on a different tone. And I had kind of fallen off the wagon with that in my morning routine. So after reading this book, what I decided to do is I was like, I'm just going to commit to one minute. I'm going to make my mushroom coffee. And yes, I said mushroom coffee. If you have questions about that, you can ask me. <laughs> But so I said, after I make my mushroom coffee, because you know I'm not going to skip that. Otherwise, I'm a really um, crabby animal. <laughs> so after I make my mushroom coffee and it's ready and it's in my hands, I'm going to set a timer for, for one minute. One minute I started with and I'm going to meditate for one minute. And the beautiful thing about this was after a few days of doing 60 seconds, it was really easy to say, okay, um, today I'm going to do two minutes and to build it up over time until I got to um, 10 minutes, which is where I'm at right now. And um, so it built up that habit really, it, it feels, feels almost completely effortless. So... When you are thinking of a habit that you want, so what's a good habit that you want to build? And maybe working out is a good habit that you want to build, but you don't have a ton of time. So here's what you could do. You could say, every time I brush my teeth, um, while I'm brushing my teeth, make it super specific. Is it before? Is it during? Is it after? So while I'm brushing my teeth, I am going to do um, 20 calf raises. Or um, while I'm brushing my teeth, I'm going to do a wall sit. That's a good one, you guys. That's a good one. Try it. <laughs> Take a picture. Send it to me. <laughs> Post it below. Um, so what about if every time you were going to head into the shower, you just said, I'm going to do five push-ups before I take a shower. Bonus points if you're naked. <laughs> Um, what if every time you got home from work, uh, before, or maybe after you change into your comfy, I'm at home clothes, you decided to have like a dance off to a five minute song. It's one of my favorite ways to get in some cardio. Uh, that's a fun one too. So stress relieving. Um, I actually do that a lot of times before I start a project. So, um, another idea is every day before I, before I take my lunch break or before I eat lunch, I'm going to walk around the block. That is a super stackable one, right? Because maybe on day three, you're like, I'm going to walk around the block twice. It's super nice out. The sun's out. I'm in Wisconsin. Everybody goes crazy. I'm going to walk around the block three times. <laughs> So, um, and you kind of get the idea of how these things stack up. So, um, this is no workout one, but what if you decided that every day on your drive to work, maybe it's five minutes that you listen to some kind of like super brain charging, positive, uplifting podcast. And if you need ideas for that, um, put a comment below and I'll be sure to send you some of my faves. But that is going to um, help boost your energy. So that's going to that's gonna be like your brain workout, right? What if you decided to 
on your drive to work every day or on your drive home from work every day, again, be specific with what you're picking, um, you decided to recite some self-love mantras, self, self-love affirmations. Um, again, a great way to get in that little brain, brain workout. So you guys know I'm not just about the body workouts, I'm also about the mindset, um, the mindset work. So um, here's a fun one. A lot of you have dogs that I want to pet, by the way. Um, but what if you decided that every time you take the dog out, you do 10 lunges? Remember, it doesn't have to be gigantic. It doesn't have to be super strenuous for it to add up. That is proven. That is science. That little things over the course of the day are going to add up. Um, okay, so here's another fun one that I am just starting. But what if you decided to get out your foam roller or your um, tennis ball, mass- racquetball, whatever you're using for a little self-massage work? What if every time you press play on a Netflix show, P.S., what are your favorites? <laughs> um, what if you decided every time you press play on a Netflix show that you did five minutes of foam rolling? That is going to add up. I, oh my gosh, foam rolling five minutes, you're going to feel so good. Um, and if you're one of my clients or if you've ever been in one of my 90 day challenge groups, you've heard this one before. It's one of my top, top five methods for getting in a workout during the day. I love this when I'm traveling. Um, I love this for when I feel like I don't have time, um, but it's to do 10 squats every time I go to the bathroom. The average person goes to the bathroom. Does anybody know how many times a day? I'm going to tell you. Put a guess in the comments. Deep breath. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. So it's so suspenseful. So the average person goes to the bathroom seven times a day. That would mean if you did 10 squats every time you went to the bathroom, you would do 70 squats in a day. <laughs> that one. Um, it really adds up, um, again, without effort, seemingly effortless, because it's just going to take you a couple seconds, right? And so far, I don't think any of these ideas, except for the dance to a song, are going to take you more than a minute. Um, you could deadlift your laundry basket 10 times. I love that one. Um, you could do a 30 second or 60 second plank um, before you, before you go into a meeting, it's also going to just get your, get your juices fired up for, um, for the meeting. Maybe while you're in that, now I'm getting a little crazy, but maybe while you're in that one minute plank, you're also reciting your self love affirmations. Um, whew, if everybody went into a meeting like that, think of what we would accomplish. Yeah. All right. So let's make this fun. Write your habit stack. So what you're already doing plus that new thing that you're going to do, write it in the comments. Make it a commitment um, right here, right now. And that as well is going to help you stick to it because you've announced it to the world, to me. And you know I'm going to read that and I'm going to hold you to it. <laughs> uh, so, um, and remember, if this is all that all that fits into your life right now, if this is all that fits into your schedule right now, Know that it is enough. Any gift that you give to your mindset, to your muscles is important. All of it adds up. Even the smallest, with seemingly smallest, tiniest step. Remember, that's the penny that gets you to a million dollars. So, mm million dollars. <laughs> uh, all right, you guys. So I will be back next Tuesday. Um, I want a full report on your new habit in the comments below. I can't wait to read those. And if you are someone that is looking for massive improvements in your strength for spring, um, my 90 day challenge registration just opened. Like I just opened it an hour ago and it is a proven, easy to follow, um, easy to follow system with proven results. That's going to get your muscles toned. It's going to get your mindset toned. It's going to boost your energy up. Um, it's going to get those shorts to fit those summer shorts. And it starts April 1st. And if you register by Sunday, this Sunday, the 17th, Happy St. Patrick's Day, by the way, you get two, oh my gosh, I've never done this before, you get two free, two complimentary 30-minute um, coaching sessions with me where we can do a little one-on-one -on -one onesie. <laughs> um, so we start April 1st, but again, register now, you'll get, um, if you register by Sunday, you'll get those, that awesome $110 value bonus. 
So it's no joke. We start April 1st. I would love to have you there. All right. Can't wait to read your habit stack and I will see you guys next week. Love ya.